Hello viewers, welcome to our Kiki Notes. Until now we have seen 6 Java programs using NetBeans IDE. The first one is Electricity Bill and Time, Distance and Currency Converter, Payslip, Stack ADT using Interface, String Operations using ArrayList and Abstract Class. In today's video we will talk about User Defined Exception. We are going to use a keyword called Throw. And exceptions are basically three types. One is checked, unchecked and errors. Uh, so throughout the exception we'll be using five keywords that is try, catch, finally, throw and throws. So throw is user defined. So today we are going to explore user defined exception. It is good to handle exception. Uh, if you handle exception, your program won't get terminated in between. If there is any exception occurs, you can continue even um, you know after the exception. So that is what the main advantage of handling exception. For uninterrupted you know termination. So you can, you should handle exception. So I have uh, explained a demo on uh, exercise number one. What happens if you won't handle exception? So if you have not watched that video, please go and check the video. Fine. So let's flip to um, um, NetBeans. So before that, we need to understand these points like uh, the difference between throw and throws, and method signature, exception types, checked and unchecked, and throwable. Fine. And let's flip to NetBeans now for the practical implementation. I'm going to show you a simple example. Uh, you see this, there is a class and I have got a method with single parameter. And uh, there is a if statement like if age less than 18, then I'm going to say throw. Th so this is a keyword. And I'm going to create a object for arithmetic exception. And I'm going to say not eligible for voting else it is going to say eligible for vote that's it and in the main method I have created uh, a reference for the class that is throw user defined so o obj is the reference and the object is created using new operator and here so this is a constructor fine and what I'm trying to do here is using the reference I'm gonna pass an argument to this method fine so that's it, an end of the program. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to uh, run this. And it is, so this is the output. It is showing that uh, exception in thread main line dot arithmetic exception, not eligible for vote. So with our uh, custom message. Okay, so what if uh, the argument is 19 and uh, let's run the program so now it is uh, eligible for voting and end of the program so this is a simple program using um, a keyword throw so this is user defined so we will be using a keyword called throw so now let's explore one more program in the same file I'm going to comment this and select this. Fine. So if you see this program, um, I have got a class which extends exception that is the super uh, class for all the exceptions. And here I have created, uh, there is a variable and uh, this is a constructor because this my exception and this is same. And constructor with one single parameter. Over here I have got a, the int uh, b. So here I'm gonna say a equal to b, and I'm gonna override uh, to string method, and uh, here I'm gonna print the value of a. Fine. So uh, I have got one more class that is the main class and main method over here, and uh, you see this. Um, I'm gonna try that is. So here I have used a keyword throw new. So this is the constructor like my new. I'm gonna sorry my exception, and I'm gonna pass. Uh, <coughs> argument over here and I'm gonna catch if there is any exception fine um, so let's check this um, I'm gonna run this so that's it exception number equal to 2 so the this argument will get passed into this parameter and I'm just printing it there is nothing else so this is a simple example uh, for uh, user-defined exception. You can use 
throw keyword and you can you know uh, define the exception and throws for example in this example if you want to use throws the difference between throw and throw or throws is that if you use throw you can you know it it should be given within the method and you can um, use only one exception but if you use throws it should be given in the method signature so this is the method and so this is over here you, you need to mention that throws and you can you know uh, mention a lot of multiple exceptions so that is what the difference so using throw you can use only one exception but if you are using a keyword called throws then you can use multiple exceptions like uh, throws automatic exception comma io exception comma something like that fine so these are the general differences and now let's flip to uh, the viva questions which we want to explore uh, for the exercise number six i'm gonna show you the viva question answers for the exercise number six so these are the questions i have given and uh, you just pause the video and you can zoom a little bit yeah you just pause the video and go through this over here I request you guys to pause the video and go through these answers. Fine. So now let's go to um, the Viva questions for exercise number 7 that is for user defined exception. So these are all the questions that uh, so you need to go through as I said that the 5 keywords difference between all these things and uh, what are the examples of these things right. So I will be revealing the answers. In the next video hope you like this video if you have got any queries do let me know in the comment section and thank you and thanks for watching the video